Ha River was built under the Sahara in Libya. The Great Man Main River is exactly what it sounds like. It's the world's largest irrigation project. A network of pipes runs under the desert. They provide 70% of all fresh water in Libya. In 1953, prospectors were looking for oil in southern Libya. They discovered vast deposits of fossil water underground. This water was collected between 30,000 and 14,000 years ago. Back then, the Saharan region enjoyed a temperate climate. Today, Libya is one of the driest countries on Earth. Some regions haven't seen rain in decades. Even in the highlands, it only rains once every five years. Less than 5% of Libya receives enough rainfall for settled agriculture. Most of the water used to be supplied by coastal desalination plants. But this was an expensive and inefficient system. The water was too precious to be used for irrigation. The Great Man-Made River was conceived in the late 1960s, but work on the project only began in 1984. The project's construction was divided into five phases. The first phase was launched in August 1991. It required a massive excavation operation. Almost 3 billion cubic feet of soil had to be removed. Around 13 wells were dug into the desert soil. Some were as deep as 1,600 feet. These wells pump water from the subterranean reservoir. The water is then distributed via the pipelines. Phase 1 used 250,000 sections of pipe. They were the largest pipes in the world. Each section was 13 feet wide and 23 feet long. The pipe was made up of layers of steel, reinforced pre-stressed concrete. The sections were laid in trenches 23 feet deep. Specially built cranes were used for pipe laying. The joints were sealed with giant rubber O-rings and cement grout. Artificial lakes were excavated to be used as open reservoirs. They were lined with asphalt. The largest reservoir is more than 0.6 mile in diameter. It holds as much as 848 million cubic feet of water. The second phase of the GMRP delivered water to AAA in 1996. Altogether, more than 6.5 million people received fresh water. The projects cost more than $25 billion. The network of pipes is 2,333 miles long. Around $1.5 billion was invested to install artificial palm trees. These 50,000 trees aid water condensation. By 2010, Libya was pulling up 90 million cubic feet of water per day. It aimed to reach 250 million at some point. That's like moving 2.5 million VW beetles more than 2,000 miles every day. Drip irrigation techniques ensure water doesn't go to waste. More than 70% of the water is intended for agriculture. The rest is allocated for people's consumption. The water was cheap for the farmers. Libyan agriculture was expected to flourish, but the civil war destroyed a chunk of the system. It has been partially restored since then, but the aquifer might dry up within the next 100 years. But for now, the GMRP is still functioning.